Hello there. Today we're going to look at the memory buttons which are found on the drive lever and we're going to look at how to set different functions to them. As you can see, we enter into the, the functions display and then if you press, for example, M1, we come to this display where you can have a single action function or a uPilot sequence. We're going to look at sequences today, so we press there and we enter into the uPilot menu. If you want to record a sequence while you're driving, Simply press the record button here, drive the sequence you want to record, and then press stop. That way, you'll have the sequence recorded automatically for you into the display. Another way of recording a sequence is to manually put it into the display. This is a very simple process, and it works this, like this. Simply press the plus button, and today, because we're plowing, the first thing I want to do on this sequence is lift the rear linkage. So we press this one, like so, rear linkage transport mode. OK, that's there. The next thing I want to add into the sequence would be to turn off engine cruise. So you go into here, press memo or off, there you go. One more I'm going to add in, and that's to turn over a plow, rear hydraulics, 1R, Let's change the hydraulic flow down to about there, and let's up the amount of time it takes to seven seconds. There you have, in your sequence, everything saved you need. If you realize you want to change the order of the actions in the sequences, simply drag and drop the functions as you so desire. You can also change the values for how long or how far you, how long it takes or how far you drive before each action starts to happen simply by pressing these buttons here. It's really that simple to program a uPilot sequence. As always, everything is saved in profiles. Change implement, change profile, your uPilot sequences will already be stored there. Valtra your working machine.